Hi everybody, and welcome to Winter Tour. My name is Colin Hatzel, and this is a special edition of the Bloom Report. And it is special because I have a special guest here with me today from inside the museum. Introduce yourself, special guest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Fair. I'm head of objects conservation at Winter Tour, and I'm excited to be introducing you today to one of our two historic Rolls Royces that we have here. This is a 1927 Rolls Royce Phantom One sporting a dark green Ascot Tour body. And this is one of about 20 cars that you can come see, 20 historic cars that you can come see this Saturday, June 5th at Winter Tour's Historic Auto Invitational. So come check it out. And before this weekend, going back to the Bloom Report, we're going to take a special trip back in time to 1927, but first we need to get in costume before we take our trip. So we're going to step out here and we'll be right back. All right, I think that's more like it. So if you were part of the social circle of the DuPont family and were invited to come visit in the 1920s and 30s, you might have been arriving in something like this. And today, we're going to take a drive down the road that you would have entered in on. Guests of the DuPont family would have entered the estate, perhaps in a car like this one, from Kennett Pike, passing the gatehouse, which is now the Point to Point House, onto Old Gatehouse Road. They would have driven almost a mile, crossing what is now Clenny Run Road, and up the hill to arrive at the circle in front of the Port Royal entrance. This is a 1927 Phantom One Rolls-Royce, and it was built in the United States, actually, at Rolls-Royce of America in Springfield, Massachusetts, which opened in 1921 and operated till the early 1930s. And they started production with Silver Ghost, and then in 1926, switched over to making the Phantom series. So these were the only two chassis styles that were built outside of the UK. And now the chassis is everything that you don't see, basically, everything under the hood. Everything that you do see is pretty much, it's what we call the body. And this body is an Ascot Tour that was built by Brewster and Company, the coach building firm in Long Island, New York. And we have records of 28 Ascot bodied Phantom Ones that were ever purchased. Uh, the number that survived today are much less than that, and this is one of them. So this really special car was donated to us in 2008 by Philip C. Beals of Brookline, Massachusetts, who wanted to see this car continue to be loved, to be operated, and to be interpreted. And so when we see this car driving around the Winterture property, it really connects you to the fact that this would have been part of visiting a historic home and gardens. Right, and as this is the Bloom Report, Lauren is kind enough to drive me around, to chauffeur me around today so that we can see what's blooming in the garden and mainly to take a look at some of these awesome June views. There's not a whole lot blooming, but there are so many green, verdant vistas and shots that we will take advantage of today. So let's go take a look. So originally in the 1920s, men would be driving. But today we're reversing the role. Let's go. We're going to reverse the whole entire time. Check out this view. We stopped right here just for a second so you can all see this. There are really no words for it. So we hopped out quick again. There are a few rhododendrons, the last ones blooming, and then a few mountain laurels. The flowers on these kind of look like an alien species. They look like little UFOs or something if you get real close. And if you're near the galleries anytime soon, there are some really lovely yellow irises blooming, as well as some primula. Really cool, the creek is so peaceful right now.
Nice. And now we reenact the Christmas light show. As we drive by, there are a couple of azaleas and rhododendrons with the last buds here. Alright, so we hopped out quick. We have a few of these mardigan lilies blooming. They have this awesome terraced bloom like this. They kind of look like an alien civilization. And then they have this great yellow and orange flower. See, the pollen gets on you so easily. As we go through here, you see some of the goat's beard and then all of the hostas. They'll be blooming by July. It'll be a sea of purple. Really pretty. Here's everyone's favorite Japanese maple. But now we're seeing it from the Rolls Royce. So, Sycamore Hill is kind of the last succession of blooms in the spring. You have a lot of the Kusa dogwood blooming. It's really fragrant here, and the meadow smells great. That'll soon be in bloom with all sorts of solidago and summer flowers. Right now, it's kind of sleepy and green, but uh, this will be really lively in a few months. And then behind us, we have a lot of lovely whites and reds, a few of the last azaleas, and uh, yeah, it's all looking great. Okay, we're going through the Enchanted Woods. This is uh, turning 20 this year, so come out for those celebrations as well. You can't see it from the vehicle, but there are a lot of party begonia blooming. The hydrangeas are going to start popping up here soon, and uh, it's going to look really, really pretty just in time for its anniversary. Thanks so much for watching. This has been another Bloom Report. Uh, we had a great time. Thanks, Lauren, for everything. Um, I know that you have some parting words about an event happening this weekend, so I'll let her take it away, because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, come join us this Saturday for a Historic Auto Invitational, where you can see this car and lots of others from all, all eras. See you later. <laughs>